Uganda is one country made up of many different cultures, and in this video we will explore Mbarara, the capital of the western region and home of Uganda's Nkole people. First, we'll take a bus along the seven-hour journey, enjoying some of the most breathtaking natural scenery Uganda has to offer. Next, we'll take a walk through Mbarara's downtown area, exploring the beautiful streets and culture. We will enjoy a little nightlife. Before waking up early the next morning to visit the rural areas where local people raise their unique longhorn cattle. Make sure to like and share the video and subscribe if you want more content. Please follow me on Instagram and shoot a message if you want to be connected with an excellent tour guide in the country. This is the Kampala Massacre Road, the main highway that takes you from Uganda's capital to the southern part of the country. Despite being well made and largely pothole free, it is the most dangerous road in the country averaging roughly a fatality every two days. Ugandans aren't used to pothole-free roads and tend to overspeed when they see them. The bus makes frequent stops called short calls where passengers can stretch our legs, use the restrooms, and pick up roadside snacks before continuing on the journey. I decide to buy some roasted goat meat for 2,000 Ugandan shillings. How much? 2K? Yeah, <laughs> 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 As we continue into southwestern Uganda, the landscape begins to change. We pass through colorful roadside towns, although the many speed bumps make it difficult to film. Eventually, we land in Barara. The bus driver carefully navigates his way to the city's taxi park and our adventure begins. This is Mbarara, the capital of the western region and Uganda's third largest city after Kampala and Jinja. Every major city in Uganda has a totem located at the entrance to its downtown area. For Mbarara, this is a longhorn cow representing the traditional cattle-rearing culture of the local Ankole people who live in this region. The word Ankole combines three different Bantu ethnic groups. First is the Bachiga, or people of the mountains, who originate in northern Rwanda, specifically the cities of Byumba and Musanzi, which I visited last year. They are known for being hard-working, no-nonsense people who focus on agriculture, growing crops such as bananas, beans, and corn. Uh, you want the one that's busy, right? Yeah. You have to take the main street. This one is not so busy, right? You have to
The other two ethnic groups are the Beru and the Bahima, who are socially anagalous. Anag anagalous? Yeah. Anag ana Analogous. Analogous. Yeah. The other two ethnic groups are the Beru and the Bahima, who are socially analogous to the Hutu and Tutsi in Rwanda. Like in Rwanda, these labels imply social stratification, with the Bahima being the higher status group. Despite sharing a language and culture, their separation is significant with the Beru mainly inhabiting cities, small farms, and towns, while the Bahima prefer to live in their own areas or on their ranches with their livestock. Uganda's president Museveni has worked to combine the people of Western Uganda under the umbrella term Ankole, but ethnic tensions probably bubble underneath the surface and calling someone Beru or Miru is generally taken as a slur around the area and wants to know what's going on. So if you refuse, sometimes it can cause issues. I thought he was just trying to sell something. Madam? I thought he was just trying to sell something. No. Because he was calling specifically you with the camera. The Ankole language seems like an intermediary between Kenya, Rwanda and Luganda, with familiar words from both languages. Wow, this street. Yep. This street. Looks so nice. Let's cross. Wow, now look at that. Yeah, the mountain in the yeah. Yeah. I am stunned by how modern and beautiful the streets look here. It reminds me of maybe San Francisco, California. The road and sidewalk quality seems better than most parts of Kampala. So many small, small streets with <laughs> uh, Anyway, maybe we go down. Okay. I want to walk <clears throat> in the direction that the sun is facing. That's when oh, you get the walk best. The, 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 okay, now we are going to go like this, then we shall come back and this will be facing in that direction of the sun. No, I mean, the the, the if the sun is facing this way, I want to be facing the same way. That's why I wanted us to go the other side and come. But the sun is like still it's kind of like overhead, so hey, it's this have way. To move, move going. We have to move facing which side? This side? No, this side. The same direction as the shadow would be this side. That's where you should be facing. Yeah. So you want to move like this? Yeah. So that means, so you want us to move through or move up to the other side? You know there okay. are many streets, this, so I don't this, know how... Here, here can be fine. Okay. Let's explore some of the back streets and alleys. Special thanks to my tour guide, Emma Gambaromba, who does both city tours and nature safaris in Uganda. If you would like local help in the country, shoot me a message and I'll put you in contact with him.
So what was what were you saying about the roundabout? The roundabout. Yeah, it has a. It has like when you when you when you enter in Barara, it's like the main thing that introduces you and welcomes you to Barara. You know that it's the land where mainly they do cattle. You know, nomadic pastoralists because they have a sculpture of a cow. They are big one, which yeah. is named <coughs> Amahende Gente. Like Amahende Gente means the horn of a cow. Okay. You understand? Because I'm um, collecting people have long horned cows. Yeah. Yeah. So as you're entering that, everyone like knows, as you're entering that, most people like to take a picture of that. I've taken f photos there before when I came, like, mm -hmm. it's like, welcome to Mbarara, the place of cows and, you know, yeah. yeah. So it's a nice shot because once you, once you take it and then people see it in your video, some people will even be able to know that, oh, yeah. that's what, that's, it's like when you're, it's like when you're going to, to, to go. Barara and the surrounding districts have an average elevation of 5,900 feet above sea level, which is huge. So despite being located near the equator, average temperatures in this city range from 65 to 85 Fahrenheit which is pretty mild. Like in most parts of Uganda, agriculture is the main economic activity here. But the region is unique for producing most of Uganda's milk, beef, and a starchy banana called matoke, which is a staple food in Bantu regions of the country. Hey look, Vibes Lounge. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, yeah, up there. Then there's one, the other side is called the uh, uh, Club, Club Vision Empire. The only issue is that this is a Wednesday. I don't know, like, if there'll be a good vibe. Oh, for the night? Yeah. We'll just try out on three uh, Would have been perfect had we come here on a Friday. Then we'd get the street walk and then a great nightlife. Mm -hmm. You know there are clubs that work, there's ice lounge. A nice what? A nice Timberland shoe. Oh. <laughs> New York style. <laughs> That's what guys like to wear Timberlands. In, in New York? Yeah. Ah. There was one uh, TikTok making fun of New York guys. The guy had Timberland shoes. Timberlands on his hands <laughs> and he's driving and the steering wheel was a Timberland. Well, the Timberland and everything <laughs> is Timberland. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, of course there are very many streets that I don't so you can Go connect, connect. Oh, my God. We can do even some of them in the night. Too. Yeah. Of what you want. That one. Yeah. Maybe we can get even wider hips. The yeah, wider the, wider, the hips, yeah, the, the better. Wider the, hips, the better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really catches yeah. a man's attention. Yeah. <coughs> so those thumbnails, you just design them differently, then you put them, there's a provision for when you're uploading where you yeah. upload the thumbnail. Yeah. 
like YouTube is also a lot of work. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not. It's not easy. Yeah, by the time you come up with something perfect to upload, and you know, must have given it time. Yeah, but the thing is, the more you do it, the more you understand yeah, what your audience true. reacts to. Yeah. Yeah. And they provide data on the thumbnail, so they tell you. Uh, this thumbnail, your viewers like this one a lot. Oh. So keep making them like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to wonder how YouTube makes money. It, because if it pays people, like, that means it's so, be making. Yeah, they actually, they, they take half of our money. So they're oh, really yeah. supposed to pay us much, much more. Much more. Yeah. So they take half and they give you half, so you share. Exactly. And yet you're the one doing everything. <laughs> but I can't complain. Yeah, of course, it's always good money, you know, when it comes. Yeah, it lets people make money doing something they love, right? Mm. We hop on a motorcycle and head to the outskirts of the city center to find a hotel. There is something unique to the border side. What? They don't wear, most of them don't wear helmets, they don't wear reflectors, you know. And most of their borders have been stamped there. Uh, the borders here are so cheap. Yeah, it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, I think the tire is having an issue. We pay the boater driver and go inside the hotel. Yeah, let's go in that way.
How much? It's 25. The self contained the uh, already is taken up. Okay. The, the food bag. And this one is the same? Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's the first, maybe, I don't know, get one, then we'll come back and. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So if you come back anytime, let us know. Then I'll go and sleep somewhere and see you sleep here. The rooms cost 20,000 Ugandan shillings, which is around $5. We grab some food and prepare for the nightlife. We have to we have to be quick so we can get the sunlight for the sunlight. Ah, uh, maybe we'll check them later. <laughs> yeah, this place is so light. Let's go on about this one. Like in most Ugandan cities, in Barara's local people love to enjoy street food at night, but for some reason, the vendors aren't particularly creative with their offerings. The only things you'll find are roasted chicken, sausages, and fish, but they're usually very well seasoned and taste great. Is this chicken? Yeah, that's chicken. It looks like duck. <laughs> because is it because of the wings? Yeah, the whole structure of the bird looked kind of different. Yeah, looks so different. Maybe the ones here are different from the ones we've been eating. Yeah, maybe it's like a local chicken. Yeah, it must be local, not the way we eat the other one. One of the what? This street's are busy. This yeah, busy. especially at night. Interface, but they are now facing each other. 
Yeah, competing. The area has many clubs. Let's go inside some of them. Thanks for watching and if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe.